This is a short video of the Chesterton PLS, which stands for Polymer Labyrinth Seal. This is a specifically made to size labyrinth seal for sealing rotating equipment. First of all, we'll show you the stator part of the seal. If you'll notice, there's a drain port, and this is installed at the 6 o'clock position on the seal. This is the stator, which inserts into the bore and doesn't turn. This part is the rotor. This part fastens uh, with an interference fit to the shaft and it turns along with the shaft and together they provide the labyrinth seal construction. This small device, this looks like an o-ring, is actually the valve. The valve prevents the ingress of contaminants into the bearing housing while also preventing uh, the oil from escaping it's installed onto the rotor. All of these parts are made out of AWC 800 which is a high durometer polyurethane which is a very durable very very strong material. The advantage of it is it's much less expensive and easier to machine than brass or steel. Now we're going to show you a little bit about installing the seal. The seal come in the typical yellow box um, with a set of instructions. Of course we always invite you to read the instructions and familiarize yourself with the installation of the seal even if you've done one before. Like I said earlier each of these seals is dimensioned exactly to the size of the shaft and the bore of the housing so they can be made specifically for your equipment also they do come in a flanged and a non-flanged version so that they can have a much lower profile um, for tight spaces. The gentleman is taking it out of the box now. As you notice it comes in two parts with the valve already installed. When you get ready to install it, um, the first thing you want to do is be sure and clean your shaft thoroughly, make sure there's no debris. Uh, it's a good idea also at that time to double check your sizes. While he's installing this, I'd also like to add that uh, this seal has passed IP56 third-party testing for ingress of uh, water and dust. Now um, you'll see that he's uh, positioning the seal with the drain back port at the six o'clock position. This is very important. If this isn't done, then the seal won't function because oil will have to be forced out through the labyrinth itself. So it's really important that you put that uh, drain back port at the six o'clock position. Then if you notice, um, the gentleman is able to press the seal in with his fingers, um, forcing it just one section at a time, working his way around the seal. You can't do this with the metal labyrinth seals or even the PTFE filled labyrinth seals. Um, those seals have to be forced in somehow and usually with an arbor press, which means more disassembly and more work to install the equipment. Um, this is a very friendly f feature that this product has, um, one that can really be useful for field installation. and now he can turn it and the rotor will turn with the shaft. This is a short animation showing the function of the shutoff valve that is integral to the labyrinth seal. If you'll notice as the equipment is turned on, centrifugal force will displace the shutoff valve and allow the bearing housing to breathe. Then when the equipment is turned off again, of course the shutoff valve will return to its original position uh, sealing off the bearing housing to prevent contamination of the oil. Thank you for watching.